Hi friends, I've got a little story for you today. It's one that I think all my young and short friends can connect to, and probably more than once or twice. During this last Thanksgiving break, my family traveled together to New York City. We saw a lot in five days, but one experience really stands out to me. I don't know if you've heard of them or not, but New York City has a dance group called the Rockettes. Every year they put on a big show called the Christmas Spectacular, and we got to see it on Thanksgiving Day. We arrived at Radio City Music Hall and found our seats in this beautiful, old, famous theater. We were very concerned that Madeline and my other niece would not be able to see over the people in front of us because they were the two shortest of our group. And then, guess who was the next shortest? Yep, me. My family is all taller than me, except for the two children. We took our seats and hoped for the best. A few minutes before the show started, a family came in and sat down in the row in front of us. It was perfect. All of their shortest members sat in front of our shortest members. We could all see. Yes! The lights dimmed, the music started, the curtain began to rise, and that family in front of us started playing musical chairs. They started changing their seats. Thankfully, two children still sat in front of Madeline and my niece, so they were good to see. But the tallest person in their family moved to sit right in front of me. I couldn't see anything, and since the show had started, I was stuck. Guess how I had to sit for two hours, like this. I was so frustrated at the beginning, but by the time the show ended, I had completely forgotten about the head in front of me. I enjoyed every minute of that show. When we were leaving the theater, I felt like Zacchaeus in the Bible. I didn't have a sycamore tree I could climb, but I was determined not to miss my chance to see the main event. Zacchaeus was not liked by the community. He was a tax collector that had stolen from the people, but Jesus didn't care. He knew Zacchaeus had come to, and had come to save him, just like he came to save us all. Do you remember what Zacchaeus did after meeting Jesus and seeing him? He promised to give back the money he had taken and to give money to the poor to help them. Zacchaeus could have walked away after meeting Jesus and being saved, but he took it a step further. He chose to change his life from taking from others to giving to others. It's not enough just to see and witness Jesus. Be like Zacchaeus and live like Jesus. What have you done for others? What have you given to others? How have you loved others? It's not too late to make the change. You've seen what Jesus can do. Now it's time to take action and do what Jesus can do. See you next week.